Looking for hair removal tools that not only deliver smooth results, but also empower you with a sense of complete control? Enter Conair Girl Bomb, your secret weapons for smooth, sleek results made just for women. From the ultimate Girl Bomb grip and professional grade blades, you don't have to compromise and settle for less. Conair Girl Bomb equips you with the precision and power previously reserved for men's grooming tools. So take your hair removal routine to the next level with Conair Girl Bomb. Available at conairgirlbomb.com or a retailer near you. Residents at Brightview Senior Living Communities enjoy enhanced possibilities, independence, and choice. Brightview Dulles Corner in Herndon and Brightview Great Falls offer vibrant senior independent living, assisted living, and memory care services through various daily programs and cultural events. Chef-prepared meals, safety and security, transportation, resort-style amenities, and high-quality care. Everything you need is here. Discover more at brightviewseniorliving.com. Equal housing opportunity. What kind of programs does this school have? How are the test scores? How many kids do a classroom? Homes.com knows these are all things you ask when you're home shopping as a parent. That's why each listing on Homes.com includes extensive reports on local schools, including photos, parent reviews, test scores, student-teacher ratio, school rankings, and more. The information is from multiple trusted sources and curated by Homes.com's dedicated in-house research team. It's also you can make the right decision for your family. Homes.com. We've done your homework. Hey, everyone. It's Ted from Consumer Cellular, the guy in the orange sweater, and this is your wake-up call. If you're paying too much for wireless service, you don't have to keep having that nightmare. Consumer Cellular has the same fast, reliable coverage as the leading carriers for up to half the cost. So why keep spending more than you have to? Seriously, wake up and call 1-888-FREEDOM or visit ConsumerCellular.com. Savings based on cost of Consumer Cellular single line 1, 5, and 10 gig data plans with unlimited talk and text compared to lowest cost single line postpaid unlimited talk text and data plans offered by T-Mobile and Verizon January 2024. Hello, from Wonder Media Network, I'm Jenny Kaplan, and this is Womanica. This month, we're talking about workers, women who fought for labor rights and shaped the way we do business today. They advocated and innovated to make the office, wherever it is, a more equitable place. Today, we're talking about a woman who worked to make teaching and any job a woman might want more equitable. She encouraged women and people of color to speak up for what they deserve and never settle for the job they're expected to take. Let's talk about Elizabeth Duncan Kuntz. Elizabeth was born on June 3, 1919, in Salisbury, North Carolina. Her parents, Samuel and Lena, valued the importance of education. Samuel was a high school principal, and Lena was an elementary school teacher. Despite living in the segregated South, they made sure that all seven of their children received a proper education. And it didn't stop there. Samuel and Lena instilled the belief in their children that if you were privileged enough to have an education, you were also obligated to be of service to others. Elizabeth witnessed this firsthand as she watched and later helped her mother teach adults how to read and write at their kitchen table. Elizabeth learned to read at an early age, and she excelled in school. She graduated salutatorian from high school and she received her bachelor's degree in English and elementary education when she was just 19 years old. Elizabeth's teaching career began at the Harnett County Training School. There she worked with kids with learning disabilities. She empowered them and taught them to defy the belief that they were incapable of learning. She was good at her job. Then she started to realize something. Teachers were being charged an excessive rate for room and board. And the boarding house was owned by the school. Elizabeth got to work and organized a protest to fight for a fairer rate. She was fired as a result. So she went on and got her master's degree. But Elizabeth's activism didn't stop there. She got a new job teaching special education at her old high school and found her next fight for justice. She brought black and white teachers together. And after Brown v. Board mandated desegregation, she worked toward making that a reality in North Carolina. Elizabeth's star continued to rise. As the first Black president of the National Education Association, or the NEA, she fought for job and retirement security and better pay for teachers. She also advocated for more federal money for education. It all went back to this idea of teaching power her rallying cry. 
And across the country, teachers went on strike in droves. Elizabeth's work as president of the NEA caught the attention of those in Washington, D.C. In 1969, she was appointed the first black director of the U.S. Department of Labor's Women's Bureau. She was the highest ranking black woman in the Nixon administration. As director, Elizabeth primarily focused on eliminating workplace discrimination against women and minorities. She believed in and fought for equal rights and greater opportunities for black people, the working poor, and women. And she was also a proponent of the Equal Rights Amendment to the U.S. Constitution. While Elizabeth fought for working women, she also wanted to expand what work women could do. The classification of women's work dissuaded women from going after certain jobs and therefore put a cap on their salaries and potential. When asked about the problems women faced at the time, Elizabeth responded, I would say that perhaps one of the greatest obstacles is the attitude of the general public, including women, toward women's right to enter the job market and the jobs heretofore considered to be traditionally men's jobs. So, Elizabeth encouraged those women who knew how to operate a typewriter to also know how to repair it. And she guided women teachers to focus on math and science, which paid more. Elizabeth was often labeled as a radical for her positions. She welcomed this title and kept fighting for equality in the workplace. Elizabeth knew the complexity and subtlety of discrimination. So she made sure her work also extended to people of color. She knew that while a white woman could complain about not being able to be more than a secretary, a black woman wouldn't even be considered for the job. Elizabeth helped people see the institutionalized racism that society had allowed to persist when it came to women's work. Elizabeth's time in Washington came to an end in 1975. She returned to North Carolina and became the assistant state school superintendent. In this role, her work focused on improving public education. In 1982, Elizabeth retired from public service and returned to her hometown, Salisbury, North Carolina. She died of a heart attack on January 6, 1989. She was 69 years old. Elizabeth's legacy lives on through the annual Elizabeth Duncan Kuntz Humanitarian Award and the Elizabeth Duncan Kuntz Elementary School, which opened in 2006 in Salisbury. All month, we're talking about workers, for more information, find us on Facebook and Instagram at Womanica Podcast. Special thanks to Liz Kaplan, my favorite sister and co-creator. Talk to you tomorrow. Residents at Brightview Senior Living Communities enjoy enhanced possibilities, independence, and choice. Brightview Dulles Corner in Herndon and Brightview Great Falls offer vibrant senior independent living, assisted living, and memory care services through various daily programs and cultural events. Chef-prepared meals, safety and security, transportation, resort-style amenities, and high-quality care. Everything you need is here. Discover more at brightviewseniorliving.com. Equal housing opportunity. Looking for hair removal tools that not only deliver smooth results, but also empower you with a sense of complete control? Enter Conair Girl Bomb, your secret weapons for smooth, sleek results made just for women. From the ultimate Girl Bomb grip and professional grade blades, you don't have to compromise and settle for less. Conair Girl Bomb equips you with the precision and power previously reserved for men's grooming tools. So take your hair removal routine to the next level with Conair Girl Bomb. Available at conairgirlbomb.com or a retailer near you. Does money stress you out? Let FACET flip your financial chaos into clarity. Finding FACET immediately put us at ease. FACET's innovative approach to financial planning ensures your money works as hard as you do, enabling members to experience the joys of having your finances in order. That makes us FACET for life now, I guess. (laughs) Visit FACET.com, F-A-C-E-T.com to learn more. This ad is sponsored by FACET. FACET Wealth is an SEC-registered investment advisor. This is not an offer to buy or sell securities, nor is it investment, legal, or tax advice. These testimonials are from current FACET members who are not compensated. All opinions are their own and not a guarantee of a similar outcome. Your future in business is bright, and nothing's going to get in your way. Take the next step and get a glimpse into what life is like as an executive MBA student at the Robert H. Smith School of Business. The Robert Smith School of Business Executive MBA for a Day event is Saturday, May 18th. 
Network with current students and alumni and see how the Smith EMBA leads to an unstoppable career. Don't delay. Register today at go.umd.edu slash EMBA Day. University of Maryland Robert H. Smith School of Business.